What is your name? My name is Hanapon. It's what? My name is Hanapon. Hapon? Hanapon. Nickname Pip. Pip? Yeah. Okay. Do I have your email address? Yes. I do. Yeah, but I, I did not use it for a long time. Oh, long okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Because I send the notes to everyone every day, you know, so you can have a notebook. Have you sent me? I did. I sent you, I sent you uh, yesterday. Uh, last night, I sent you all of the other ones from the previous days, so you should have them. If you, if you didn't receive them, let me know, and I'll do something else. Uh, two, two or five, two or five in USA in Chicago. Uh huh. Uh, temperature so cold. It is so cold. It is it is like Arctic weather. It is. Um, I have I have uh, relatives in Chicago, and it is 30 degrees below zero. Yeah, yeah. If you go outside and breathe the air, it it like can damage your lungs. Um, it's, it's like, yeah, yeah. My my children and grandchildren live in Indiana, which is right next to Chicago, and it's so cold the children can't go to school. And my daughter, my daughter is a nurse, and she has to go to work. So uh, she has to get out into the cold weather. So she has to bundle up. She puts on a, a, a mask, you know, to, with just little holes in the eyes. <laughs> and uh, two years ago, I, I two years ago, I I went to the hospital. Uh -huh. Oh, did you? Uh huh. Two years. Yeah. Well, uh, was it during the winter? Yeah. No, no, no. Summertime? Oh, well, summertime, it's, it's, um, it's as bad as warm as it is in Thailand. Uh, it's like, you know... Um, every year, every year cold in Chicago. Every year, every year it is cold, but, is, but it is not this cold. Oh, no. This, this is unusual. Oh. This is unusual oh. cold. Uh -huh. But uh, it, uh, Chicago and, and all across the north of the USA mm -hmm. is, uh, is very cold in the wintertime. Oh. Yeah. Very cold. Mm -hmm. We'll wait a few minutes for our others to join us. They're running a little late. Mm -hmm. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Is it? Oh. Min minus. What is minus? It would be minus. Yeah, below. Um, in, in the USA, we measure temperature by Fahrenheit. And in Thailand, you measure temperature by Celsius. Uh, so, uh, like 30 degrees Celsius is about 90 degrees in Fahrenheit, okay? So a minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit would be a minus about 10 degrees in Celsius. It's a different scale, a different scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's very, in Chicago right now, it's very, very dangerous. The weather is very dangerous, yeah. And uh, so, my my grandson, uh, my grandson is a school teacher, and so, uh, but his school has been canceled because it's just too dangerous for the children to be outdoors. You know, uh, in in this when the weather is this cold. This year is is not normal temperature. No, it's 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 abnormally cold. Mm -hmm. Now it's always cold in Chicago in the winter time. But this is abnormally cold. So we would, we, we, would, we would say it is normally cold in Chicago. Normally means typically 
usually, always. So we would say it's normally cold in Chicago in the wintertime. This weather is abnormally cold, which means that it's more cold than normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, while we were just waiting for people to, to gather, Nam, we were talking about modifiers and, and how we can make comparisons with modifiers. So, for example, happy. If you're happy, you're, you know, you're happy. You, you're, you're enjoying yourself. But then, I can be happier today than I was yesterday. Yesterday I was happy. Today, I'm really happy. Okay? When we, when, when we say happier, we're making a comparison between two things or two people. Now, when we say happiest, it means that is, I'm the happiest I've ever been. I mean, I've never been happier than I am today. Happiest means the most ever. And so we can, we can do this, these comparisons, with, with just about any modifier. Tall, short, strong, hungry, whatever. Yes. Hungry, you know, it's when you want, want to eat. Hungry, hungrier, hungriest. Okay? And I thought I sent everyone a summary of verb tenses. Did you, you got that in the email that I sent, to, I sent you? Now, the reason I did this, yeah. The, the reason I did this is because we had a question um, yesterday about the difference between past perfect and present perfect. And verb tenses can be very confusing. And I want to show you something, but I don't want it, I don't want it to like overwhelm you. I don't, want, I don't want you to be confused by this, okay? But I wanted to show you that we have many, many tenses in English. We've only covered a few of them. And, but as, as, you, as you get better and better in English, you'll learn more tenses. So far, we've, we know the present tense. We know the present tense. There's also what we call present continuous. Present continuous. And, and the difference, the difference is, is almost, well, they're almost the same, but the difference is only slightly different, okay? For example, uh, some days, some days I, I take the song Tao here to teach and, and then take the song Tao back to the Rio Monte. Some days I walk, okay? So I can say correctly, um, I walk to and from the Rio Monte. That means that in the present, I will walk back and forth. Now, so that, that's present tense. I walk home. Um, if I say, they are walking home, or I am walking home, that means I'm doing it right now at this very moment. So it's just a slight difference. Both are present tense. Both are present tense. I'm learning English now. Uh, okay. Um, I am learning English now. You, you could add now. And that actually what, what you're using is the present continuous tense because you are doing it at this very moment and you are going to continue doing it for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, uh, I eat Thai food. What I, what I, what I, when I say I eat Thai food, I mean that in, 
in my life today, I, I eat Thai food. I'm not doing it at this very moment. Um, I might, you know, I'm, I'm telling you that I've done it in the past, I will do it in the future. I eat Thai food. Now, if I said, I am eating Thai food, I would have to be in the act of eating at this very moment. So it's a very, they're almost the same, but the difference is, is just very slight. Present and present continuous. Then you know that we also have past tenses in English. What we call simple past tense and then past continuous tense. Again, they're very, very similar and the difference is, is just very slight. Um, Peter lived in China in 1965. We're saying that uh, 55 years ago, yeah, 58 years ago, Peter lived in China. Um, in this case, we're talking about something that happened in the past, but we're also describing what was going on continuously in the past. So, past continuous, I was reading when she arrived. So we know that when she arrived puts us in the past. This tells us what she was doing.